Morning everyone, welcome to another fine day in paradise. Uh, today I have decided to hire a little motorbike to visit the ghost ship. Why is it called a ghost ship? Keep watching, all will be revealed. If you travel along the main road to the southernmost tip of Ko Chang Island, you will come to what was once known as the Ko Chang Grand Laguna Resort. Set in its beautiful landscape surroundings, this beachfront resort in the early 2000s was a vibrant, thriving community and a definite go-to destination for many tourists visiting the island. There is a lot of speculation as to why this beautiful beachfront resort came to a grinding halt. Some say it was built on spiritual land without a blessing. Others say it ran into financial difficulties. But one thing for sure, COVID was certainly the culprit that broke the camel's back. Costs 100 baht to get in here, which is fair enough, it all goes towards the upkeep of the area and everything else. And for the sake of 100 baht, well worth it. Money well spent, I say. As usual, just my luck, typical. Just as I start filming, it decides to piss down with rain. But I'm not complaining, because you know what? This rain is really refreshing, beautiful. Now this area is closed uh, because apparently it's a little bit unsafe to go in there but this did at one time used to be a thriving hotel believe it or not called the Galaxy the Galaxy Hotel not sure if I'd feel comfortable staying here now which wouldn't be possible anyway but there you have it, the ghost ship. And why is it called a ghost ship? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know. I don't think there's been any ghost sightings as such, but it's quite possible there are ghosts in here by the look of this thing. It certainly looks very spooky, and I'm not sure if I'd really want to go in there and have a little wander around on my own, especially not at night. We'll give that one a miss.
what is now known as the ghost ship was once the center hub of this community this once luxury liner was kitted out and renamed the galaxy hotel and designed to cater for the hundreds of tourists visiting the resort so how did this luxury cruise liner end up stranded on this beach? Well, again, there is a lot of speculation as to this. And some say that it was on its way to Cambodia to be used as a cruise liner and it sprung a leak and uh, ended up being towed on the beach and left there. And others say it was purposely dumped there to be used as a hotel. Who knows? Believe it or not, this old barge is still actually being used as a hotel. I think you're only allowed to stay here one night, apparently, from what I've heard. But yeah, I'm still being used as a hotel. Well, I take it back. I did think this was still being used as a hotel, but I'm obviously mistaken. As you can see, at one time, this was probably a buzzing entertainment hall. Now, left to the demise of history. Such a shame. I'm sure someone with a lot of money one day will come and spruce it up and bring it back to its life again. Or maybe it'll just get left as it is. And why not? And just for your information, there is actually toilet facilities in this um, little hotel sort of guest house thing right next to the ship so if you need to do your business feel rest assured you will not left you will not be left struggling just by looking around here at some of these old derelict boats you can tell that at one time this was a thriving thriving little resort plenty going on such a shame and I guess when things went downhill, everyone just packed their bags and up and left, and left it as it is. Beautiful in one way, but sad in another. Anyway, moving on gracefully. And after that busy trek checking out ghost ships, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. So I've decided to come down to this little beach place, see if I can find myself something to eat. As you do. All looks very inviting. Sally Cup. One of the many things about Ko Chang is you just don't get better than this. Another fantastic little beach. Paradise within its own right. Absolutely fantastic. So beautiful fishing village over there where I should really go for something to eat but 
I've chosen to have something to eat in this lovely little beach bar instead. And why not? Funny, isn't it? People just don't want your money anymore, do they? Well, it was my plan to stop here and grab myself something to eat on this nice little paradise sort of beach. But unfortunately, it is not even raining, just like maybe a couple of spits and that's about it. But I wanted to film outside, obviously, because I didn't want to um, interrupt people eating. And the woman serving me said, the girl serving me said, I said to her, it's not a problem. I'll sit outside and have myself something to eat. It's only a little bit of rain, it's not, not even rain really, just a little, look, nothing. And she said, no, it's not a problem for you. It's a problem for me. Because she didn't want to step in, step outside into a little bit of, not even rain really, just a mini shower. So yeah, I said, you know what, never mind plenty of other places so I'm heading off somewhere else let's see what we can find see it's always been a thing of mine that I never worry about one door closing because I know another one's gonna open and nine times out of ten it's gonna be even better than the one that just closed on me so they can stick their little restaurant where they don't want to walk out into a small little bit of shower to bring in my food right up where the Sun don't shine because I've just found another little place where I'm going to have myself some lunch and give them their well-deserved money or my hard-earned money, should I say. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. On to the I Do, I Do bar restaurant. Thai, European food, right on a hill. Like I say, if you do take a bike or ride a scooter on this island, it is treacherous when it's raining on all the hills and everything. Definitely wear a helmet, unlike me, but never mind. Here we go, little doo doo bar. See if these people are happy to take my money. Saudi cup. You see, lovely welcome. What you can get here? Absolutely fantastic. Looks like a nice little beach here. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. And on this occasion, well worth it. See, look at that. One door closes, and another one opens. As if by magic. Never been let down yet. Beautiful. The I Do, I Do bar. On the way to the ghost ship. Ghost beach, ghost ship. I Do, I Do, welcome. Thai food, seafood, pizza, cocktails. There you are, this is looking fine and dandy. Let me go and grab myself something to eat. Hello mate, you look friendly enough. Am I welcome? I guess that says yes. Onwards and upwards. Howdy cup. Are you doing food? Can I sit over there, would that be okay? Thank you very much. This is my lovely little spot where I'm going to order something to eat and have a look at this fantastic beautiful view whilst I'm eating it. Just don't get better than that, do you? I do, I do menu. Old style on the beach. Let's have a look what we got. Coffees, cocoa. Some 
something about the food there. Full English, look at that. Full English for 200 baht, which is about fiver. Eggs, bacon, sausage, bean, tomato, ham, toast with teal black coffee. Tempting, but I'm looking for something a little bit more spicy. It's the breakfast. Omelette, egg roll, I guess. That looks quite nice. Oh, looks lovely, actually. Mm, fried rice, chicken, pork, tofu, vegetable. Look at that. Seafood and rice. 100 baht, £2.50. You just can't go wrong with that, can you? Stir fried curry, chicken, pork, tofu. I'm going to go for the pork stir fried curry. That just looks like the perfect thing for me today. Stir fried spicy herbs. Let's see what else they've got on here. Omelette. I don't want an omelette. All for around 150 baht. Pad Thai. Um, Red na fried noodle. No, I'm not into noodles today, I'm sorry. Yum tuna. Papaya salad. Spicy mince salad. Morning glory. I could do one of those. <laughs> so yeah, quite sport for choice here. Quite a lot of things going on. Chicken losso or red sauce. Pang Yang curry, again that looks tempting. Jungle curry, spicy, oh yes. All looks so inviting and tasty. But I think I've made my mind up. Musselman curry as well, 140 baht, which is about two pound. Absolutely amazing, red curry of pineapple. Wow, what a lovely selection here. Seafood, fried snapper fish with garlic. Absolutely sport for choice here. Then you'll try burgers and everything else that goes with it. Garlic bread, green salads. Definitely, um, definitely worth a visit this little restaurant. So glad I found it. That's it, mine made up. I'm going to go for the stir fried curry with pork. 100 baht, which is basically. One pound twenty-five, or is it? No, it's two pound. I do apologise, which is basically two pound fifty. Happy days with a can of coke, three quid. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Hey, my dinner has arrived. My lunch has arrived. Portions aren't massive, but to be honest with you, I'm not really that hungry. I'm just having a little snack and I'll probably have something to eat later on. Uh, but for the moment, yeah, this little stir fry curry is gonna suit me just fine. Right, all kinds of goodies going on here. Let's chuck into a bit of this rice and curry and see what it's all about. A bit of pork. Absolutely delightful. Sweet corn, green beans, morning glory, pork, chilies, ginger, tapia leaves. Um, everything going on. As usual, you always get the tapia leaves in there. You can spat out. They can swallow them if you want, but it's not advisable. Apart from that. Mm. Hint of lemongrass in there as well. 
all your typical Thai flavours. So well worth stopping by this little restaurant if you go to visit the um, ghost ship and it's easy to get there literally just follow the road I mean that road is that is where the road actually ends there's only one main road goes around the whole island but it doesn't connect up and this is the southern part of the island and that's where the road stops and that's the end of it basically you've got to go back on yourself which is a shame because if you they joined it up you could actually ride around the whole island but it is what it is you know that's just the way it is apart from that this is absolutely delightful light refreshing I'm playing around my foot. Yeah. What more can I say? Delightful, beautiful, fantastic, nice setting. Happy days. Mm. As usual, if you enjoy watching my channel, which I hope you do. Uh, please be kind enough to hit that subscribe button, ring that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. It really does help my channel and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. There are also some links below this video if you're looking to book hotels and good prices and everything like that. So yeah, links below the video. On that note, thanks very much for watching, shift travels and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.